What we're seeing here is the backside of the larynx. When you vocalize, air comes up from the lungs and the vocal cords start to vibrate. You'll see here that the vocal cords aren't in sync with each other. This asymmetry could be the result of muscles that aren't balanced or coordinated, so you'd hear a periodic break in the sound. What we do want is the vocal cords coming together evenly and symmetrically. When you vocalize into the straw, the air that can't escape through the straw provides pressure backwards to the vocal cords from the other direction. This is represented by the dots you see flowing backwards. That balance between the forward pressure and the backward pressure allows the vocal cords to balance symmetrically and square up. This is when you get the best sound and the most comfortable feeling. Another benefit of the straw is that it actually changes the shape of your pharynx. That's your throat. When you use the straw, it creates more space and length in your vocal tract. More space and length can allow the vocal tract to maximize or boost acoustic energy. Large differences in spaces provides more flexibility and choices for positioning and improves voice qualities with an easier sound. As you do your exercises, you'll eventually want to integrate vowel and consonant sounds with the voice cup. Now that your vocal cords are in the optimal position, they can work together with the rest of the vocal tract to balance your aerodynamic pressures with the acoustic energy, making it so that your vocal cords don't have to work as hard to create sound.